Welcome back to yet another tutorial. Now today I'm going to talk about changing textures. Now this can be really simple, really fun, but it also can have a important game mechanic to it. So I'm going to show you an example of how to integrate this into a basic game, a basic game concept, and then you can uh, do with it what you want. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how the basics work. So we're just going to switch through a texture uh, really quickly and easily. So what we want to do is have a base texture. I'm going to go with a green and call it a base for base texture. Next up we can just go to the chain tab and add a new slot. We can call this uh, well slot number two, so two. And we can set the base color to be a red maybe, something that stands out. Now we can add some logic. So what we want to do is make a node tree and we can call it uh, set uh, color, yeah, and uh, open the script tab. Set it to be the logic node editor, and select the new node tree that we just made. First, thing we need to do is grab an input. Uh, this could be a trigger, uh, such as a volume trigger, or whatever you want to uh, make this um, node tree start. I'm just going to grab a mouse. Uh, so when the mouse is down, it's going to set the material. As you can see, set material. It's going to set the material to be uh, the material that we just made as a material number two. So we can plug that into material there. And uh, then we can obviously uh, um, play it. But first thing I'm just going to talk about is once we press the, uh, the mouse down, it's going to set the material to be material two. So it's going to change that. Yeah, that's fine. That's obvious. But as soon as we release the mouse, it's not going to change it back, and you might want it to. So we can just like duplicate this node tree, and we can set it to release. So now when the mouse is released, it's going to do something, and that is revert it back to base color. And there we go. Now when we play the uh, actual game, uh, well, the actual script, you will notice that when we press down, it's going to set material to be red. When we release, it's going to set it to be green again. So there we go and everything is working so now we can do something a bit more complex so what we want to do is we want to use colors to actually drive the game mechanic we're going to use colors as logic so what we're going to do is add a cube and we can move it out let's call this cube um, other because it's another cube and this one is going to be our player and basically this is going to be an extension of our player once we collide with it and now we need a finish line. Uh, I'm just going to add a Suzanne, a monkey. And we can move it to the side, something like this. There we go. Now let's just set up our camera with uh, Control Alt 0 to snap the camera to the viewport. And we can zoom out a bit. Adjust the focal length. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to have this cube move. So to make it move we can obviously just add a simple bundled script. So we can grab a new bundled uh, script and uh, we're going to grab the simple move object one. And that is just going to allow us to have the object to move. So once we have set the speed a little higher uh, we can actually do some fun stuff. So first of all we need materials because it's all material driven. So I'm going to grab a, the object and I'm going to add a new material. This is going to be a pinkish purple, I think. Yeah, some of that. And we're going to call this uh, second because it's our second material. And we also need the material for the finish line. This is going to be uh, done for finish. And this can be set to a black. Yeah. And okay, once we have our player moving forwards, we want it to collide with the object and we want that object to become an extension of the player. So what we want to do is we want to actually, uh, first of all, just turn the speed down a little bit, 0.2 maybe. And uh, we can go and do some more scripting. So what we want to do is we want to grab an on volume trigger. So this is going to be able to, I can't spell, on volume trigger. This is going to allow us to uh, detect uh, uh, overlaps of the object without using rigid body, without using collisions, uh, rigid body collisions as in, so that is really great. So we can collect, uh, select the player and the other object. 
and what we want to do is we want to set the material to be the material of the object because instead of selecting the hard color right now instead of directly the color we're gonna get the object's material so whatever we collide with the object that we collide with we're gonna get its material as in material of the other which is obviously a purple and we're gonna feed it into the object material of the player and so the player is going to have a purple material and now what we want to do is we actually want to parent these two objects together to make them become one so we can actually just add a object uh, set object parent node the object is going to be the other and the parent is going to be the main object as in the player and there we go now what we want to do is we want to actually set the uh, finish line the Suzanne which is what we're gonna have to collide with to change the level or in our case restart the level because I can't be bothered to make this into an entire game so what we're going to do is we're going to actually adjust uh, add a couple more nodes now what we want to do is we want to set this object material to be uh, finite to be a different material which would mean that uh, that's it that there's nothing to do in this level anymore you can finally go in to the finish line and the finish line would be obviously Suzanne she would be the, the door or whatever whatever you want so we can set material slot to be Suzanne's color and the color is going to be we're gonna get the object material of the player and the player's color will only change when it collides with that so that means it must collide with the other object before Suzanne can change uh, color as in before you can win the level now once we have this color change going on we actually need to win the level so we need to be able to collide with Suzanne because right now if we did nothing would happen so we can grab an on volume trigger again right here and change it from other to be Suzanne now what we want to do is we want to test two materials so we have material of the player and we also want material of Suzanne so like I said uh, only when the material of the player is turned purple as in when it collides with that will you be able to finish the level so what we want to do is we want to test if the material of the player is the same as the material of Suzanne then that means the game has been completed and you can leave so we need a node to actually uh, compare that so what we're gonna do is we want to grab the gates node and as you can see it is going to be uh, an equal value so if the player's color is equal to Suzanne's color it's going to do something or it can also not do something whichever one you want to use for us it's going to be the true value that we use so what we're going to do is we want to actually set the scene uh, active our scene basically we want to um, set scene active the scene that's active so it's just gonna reload the scene basically normally you would change the scene but that's what's gonna happen so yeah now when we collide with Suzanne with a green color nothing's gonna happen when we collide with Suzanne with a purple color we'll be able to restart the game so let me show you right now nothing's happening now we have changed the color it's become an extension of the other object and we collide again we have restarted the scene so yeah that's a very interesting concept uh, that uses colors as logic uh, that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it I hope you can understand and uh, thank you very much for watching I also want to shout out uh, Quantum Coder for helping me understand how to change materials and inspiring me to make this tutorial in the first place that's it for me see you in the next one